Hello my lovely and welcome back <laughs> to my channel or welcome if you are new here to my new unboxing of the Alexandra Renke subscription box creative box and um, you will see I have an additional box underneath this one with papers that I ordered from the Christmas release for my upcoming Christmas card production <laughs> and um, then I saw online that they had some new Christmas items in the works uh, but I wasn't sure what would be in the box so very curiously <laughs> I opened it and I saw, well, see for yourself, uh, Christmas items, I would say. So the first item that sprung to my eye is this ribbon that I love. I have ordered it many times and this time they put in a whole roll and it seems to be a complete roll of this organza um, ribbon, 30 meters of it. And of course, <laughs> I jumped for joy inside because that's exactly what I use and need. <laughs> and um, here we have a Karen marker. I've never had any of them, but I have heard good things about them. Um, the nib is made for calligraphy. I think it's a foam nib, so it's not bristles, but um, yeah, it's sort of semi-flexible. I will try it out later. First of all, I want to see <laughs> what all the other items are. So uh, there are two little packets. Uh, one seems to be red themed. And I want to keep these stickers, they're lovely as well. So trying to open them without breaking the seal. And there are some gold items and red stars. This looks like it could, you know, um, go on a necklace almost if the corners weren't too sharp. But there's that little Christmas tree is definitely something that you could put on a chain and then those red stars one of them is out of plastic the larger one and the smaller one seems to be out of a shell and then we have the paper one that is kind of pearl color with a debossed gold made from paper and the ribbon of course or string I should say then we have a blue themed one not sure why I have two but of course always welcome <laughs> and uh, once again I'm trying to open without breaking the seal and I will keep them later, I'm sure. So there's a card inside and some tiny wooden beads <laughs> that want to run off. And another gold snowflake and a tiny little tassel. <laughs> and a wooden star and this card I'm not sure what it says I think it says 
Merry Christmas in German. So there you can take a closer look. And the strings also very lovely. Um, kind of metallic in there as well. So they, the snowflake looks the same from both sides. I just look to see if it looked different on the other side. And then we have some sequins. And I could see there was some Christmassy ones in there. And at the danger of them getting everywhere, they're jumping out right at me. <laughs> um, I'm going to take them out so you can see them better. Every year they come out with a Christmas edition and uh, this time there's a reindeer and a snowflake in, in large format and then there's Christmas trees and stars and tiny little round sequins that you can hardly see even on this paper they're jumping about. And those square ones, they're also very nice. So I have tried to contain everything <laughs> to get on with the unboxing. And um, here's some tissue paper in gold, in blue, and in white. As you can see, it's lovely, and I don't want to crease it anymore, so I will fold it right back up. It's very smooth, <laughs> and wow, I didn't expect this. I had seen this online. Um, huge set of baubles. And here I'm trying to figure out which goes where. I stared at it for quite a while, <laughs> so I cut some of that. And um, here you see uh, Weihnachtskugeln is what it's called, and Christmas balls is what they call it. So I'm trying to still trying to figure out how they go together and those little ones inside they are all different sizes to my surprise I didn't realize that and only the large ones go together to form one bauble and some more paper it's kind of unexpected and um, this is a design that they have used for years but I don't know if they've ever released this design in a Christmas paper. The paper number is 10-24-94 And of course, you can see the main sentiment is in German, and here it's in Spanish, I would say. And in other languages, also in German as well, and English, French, I see. And the paper number is 10. 2491. I'm so sorry about the focus <laughs> or non focus, I should say. I have a new setup and I get confused. I can't really see so well what's on the monitor. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will do it differently next time. So here we have handwriting in gold in the Alexandra Renke gold 
and um, it seems to be a Christmas story. The paper number is 10 24 Up next is an enlarged version of the previous paper and here you can see and if you read German you can read uh, some words but it's mainly a design so it's Christmas related Weihnachten the paper number is 10 Up next is a very graphic star design, I would say, in gold, same gold, Alexandra Renke typical gold color, which is a little darker, and it reminds me of glass windows, stained glass windows. The paper number is 10-25-29. And here's a paper that looks like paint on a dry wall <laughs> kind of thing in a peach color. It does have some faint writing at the background, I would say. Joyful, it says. And the paper number is 1025. 15. Oh wow, this is beautiful. The same kind of design, but this time with floral items and some drawings. It's like floral or botanical drawings in pencil and colored pencil. And the paper number here is 10, 25, 15. No, it's 13, sorry. And the same design, this time with a typo, joyful, and some sentiment on there. And the paper number here is 10, 25, 14. And a VW with a Christmas tree on top and some labels and uh, silhouettes or stenciled markings of Christmas trees and dots. It's lovely with some red roofed houses <laughs> and the paper number is 102501. I like it and this is beautiful it's a like the stained glass windows in churches you can see and um, fading out at the edges in beautiful color combinations of blue and green the paper number is 10 25 09. No, 10 25 
19. Sorry. <laughs> and a similar design, just that it scatters out at the top or falls into place at the bottom, however you'd want to see it. And the paper number here is 10, 25, 20. Wow, I did not expect this and um, I must say I'm very happy with this release. Here's an overview of all the things. Um, or with this creative box, I should say. So let me try out this marker. It's very juicy, so the flow is quite good, or very good. And I'm just trying this out on a slick scrap. So, nothing to write home about, but it uh, does show me that this marker is supposed to be opaque white, but on a dark background it's not quite opaque. It looks a little bit like chalk. And you can make various marks, very thin. The tip is a little bit bendy, but not too much, not like a, an actual brush because, as I said before, it's a foam. Uh, I'm guessing it's a bit like a Copic marker, only that it's acrylic, of course. And here I'm getting on with my project, so I am going to make a card using the baubles, which is, I think, uh, quite well understood or when you have seen the box because this set of dies really does stand out it's I must say this box uh, is very good value for money I would say and uh, first of all I use this die that uh, cuts out a round edge and the inside separately but I'm not going to use them. I'm going to use the one that I showed last and the outside to cut some clear overhead foil. And so I cut out many pieces and cut out, um, cut off the top of some of them so that I can make a shaker card. You guessed it, <laughs> I'm sure. And um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to make this shaker um, because I thought it would be nice to have it see through from both ends, both sides. And to kind of sess it up, I guess. <laughs> I'm painting it um, with this paint, gold glimmer paint from Viva. And um, I'm not covering the paper completely, I'm just dry brushing it on so that there's a shiny effect. And the paper is quite thin, so it's resisting me a little bit, but no problems at all. I will carry on and um, just showing you this one. I'm going to do the other one and also do the outside once it's all glued together. So here we have the foil and 
I am cutting off the part that has the holes in it because I'm planning to thread the ribbon through those holes. And yeah, so I'm gluing the foil onto the first paper or the second paper I should say and um, using the Nouveau Deluxe glue and of course I should have spread the glue a little bit with my finger but didn't do that so um, the bauble paper is not 100% adhered to the paper to the foil and um, here I'm gluing on the top that I will keep to make it more sturdy Next, the outside is glued on and here it doesn't really matter how, how uh, it adheres to the foil because it's not going to have any sequins in there. <laughs> so, trying carefully to glue it together and it doesn't stick at first takes a little time to bond with the plastic of course but the dies fit together perfectly so it's a hundred percent smooth the edge. I did have to strengthen or use the cutting plates for the foil in this case. Um, usually I use my self-healing mat as you may know but here I had to use foil um, the cutting plate to cut the foil and I cut some stars with an older Alexandra Renke die to fill the bauble <laughs> and here trying to get out those tiny little sequins and um, I'm going to show you a little more of how or the sequins I picked so you can see what's inside a little more detailed and I'm trying to fish out those ones that are not double-sided, i.e. those there's some domes in there and um, I'm going to keep those inside the pot since I'm not going to use the whole release or the whole pot I should say There's some beads you can see. Anyhow, I did uh, put some other sequins in there later. And this is the completed filling. <laughs> I put some snowflakes in there and some stars from other sequin releases. And to glue the top together, I put glue on there 
um, or first of all I'm going to smear it to the middle so all the little scallops are covered with glue hopefully <laughs> and then it's not quite so visible but of course I only have two layers on each side of the outside die cut and the inside are shorter without the top as you know <laughs> so I'm going to squeeze them together once I have managed to get all the little tiny sequins inside of the bauble. And then all that remains to do is, once the glue has dried, paint the outside gold as well. And I will paint the top a little darker, or double layer I should say and then we're good to go leaving it to dry and in the meantime I have prepared the card and um, painted some of the paper with the same glimmer paint in different or various strengths and now I'm using the stamp set that we received the last time to stamp my sentiment and since I painted the paper with this acrylic paint I will use the Stazon ink to stamp the sentiment and using the Tim Holtz stamping platform and the leftover paper to hold the cut out as bauble in place it's moved a little bit so moving it back And it's always better to double stamp especially since we have such thin lines and um, I didn't really put much weight on the first time around so now I'm really trying to squash down the stamp and voila it's done came out perfectly so this is the layout and um, I'm going to stick down the sentiment as well and now I'm going to draw some string <laughs> to hang up those baubles with my tea ruler <laughs> and um, yeah drawing some little bows on it this is a gold pen a no name I think and then I'm trying to work out where the bauble is going to go and feed the string through those slits which is quite easy easily done so trying to tie a bow is not so easy <laughs> the ribbon is trying to resist me <laughs> but I did manage to get it in the end 
And then all it remains to do is glue on the card front to the card. And to thank you for watching my long video <laughs> and staying with me until the end. Do give this video a like if you did like my unboxing and card making video. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. <laughs> and then I will see you next time. Until then, do take care, do what you love. Bye-bye. Ta-da!